Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the Yixin E56. It's another uh, drone from Yixin, uh, the Wi-Fi FPV selfie drone. It's got a little camera here in the front and sends all the video and photos back to your phone via Wi-Fi. Uh, it's got a very different controller in this one. Uh, it's called a gravity sensing controller. It's for one-handed operation. Uh, go over really quickly here. Basically, uh, in the manual here, the, the main button here is for increasing your altitude, decreasing your altitude, so it's so up and down, and then the left and the right are for yaw. Um, roll is going to be by twisting the controller left and right like this, so this be roll left, roll right, and then pitch is going to be doing this. So you're going to be pulling it back or going forward by doing this motion with the controller. So there's a gyro inside that's doing all that. And let's see, what do these buttons do here? We have high low speed in the front here. Um, if you press the joystick that will start or start the motors and also land. If you press it again, uh, this button over here is for calibration, it's probably for uh, making the self level work properly. Let's see, five, that's emergency stop right there. There's a power switch over here on the left. And let's see here, six, that's for turning on the light. I think that's it. Oh, there's headless mode here, which I never use. So, it's pretty, this is going to be pretty simple to demonstrate. I'm going to take it off, we're going to fly around with the new controller here, see what that's like, and then we'll capture a little bit of video back to the phone. Okay, so I got the uh, E56 sending video back to my phone. I'm just going to kind of hold the phone in my left hand and control the drone with my right hand, and I'll try and uh, show you how I'm flying it with the new controller here. Go ahead and we'll capture some video. I'll go ahead and take it off. So I'm in low rates right now. You see, if I move it forward, it'll go forward. If I pull back, it'll go back. Right, left. Controller seems to be working very well. And then I can yaw with the joystick. So pretty, pretty easy to fly actually. It does have altitude hold, so I can see I'm not even touching the throttle. There's a little bit of wind here, so this game pushed around just a little bit. It's not too bad. See the video here looks pretty good. Let's try to go a little higher. Seems to have pretty good power. It is a different way of flying for sure, but it works. Very interesting. Bring it down a little bit. I'm not sure what the range is like on these, but usually it's not that great. Totally, totally viable with just this very odd controller. Let's see, I can... <laughs> Nearly ran into myself. Let's try to go into the higher rate right here. So I think this is the second rate. I don't know if there's a third rate. There's a third rate. Let's just go right into the third rate and see how 
how maneuverable it is. It's quite maneuverable. It's very responsive. I actually kind of like it. This is really, this is really interesting. I think, I think this would be very easy for anyone to fly. I think, I think when you turn it around like this, the orientation will probably confuse people who have never flown quadcopters before. Uh-oh, I think my battery is already starting to die. You can see there that as the battery voltage drops, when it tries to make a hard maneuver, the altitude drops because the propellers can't spin fast enough to keep it at the same altitude. Like that. You can see it's dropping a little bit. When going forward like that, it drops a little bit. It's pretty much expected. That's pretty normal. I don't think there's any flips or roll functions on this one, as far as I know. Let me just bring it in closer, go back to the low rate. Let's see how well... I have a little bit of a breeze here, but... If I just kind of let off the control a little bit here, see, I can see how stable it is. It's not hardly moving at all. There we go. There's a little bit of drift right there from the wind, but I could just kind of tilt the controller just a little bit to compensate and just kind of almost keep it in the same spot. Let's do some yaws there. So the camera is in the front there with the where the LEDs are. I should probably turn those off if I want to get more battery life. Alright, let's go a little higher. And let's just see how how high I can go. I don't want to lose signal. That's pretty high right there. Get some aerial views of the area of the park that's behind me. And I think it's dropping altitude a little bit here. Oh, now it's going back up again. Yeah. Very dependent on the battery charge. Oh, now it's dropping for sure. I think the battery is definitely done now. Yep, there it goes. It's gonna land. It's landing. It's landing whether I want it to or not. And you can see the prop stops, so we have a dead battery for sure. Let me go ahead and stop that video. Make sure we get that video. Yeah, so pretty cool. I got the flashing lights. Obviously, you can't see them very well from high up because I'm looking at the bottom. So I would have saw those flashing lights if. Uh, it had down lower, so I didn't realize it was so low, or the battery was so low. But yeah, I think I got maybe three, four minutes of flight. Not too bad. Gonna have to charge this up again and get some more video. Very stable and very easy to control. Yeah, it's very stable and very easy to control with this gravity sensing controller. Basically, it's a gyro uh, inside the little controller here. but. Very, it's, it, didn't, it didn't take me very long at all to figure it out. And I think that it would, for any kind of first time pilot, this would be very, very easy to pick up. I, I would highly recommend it if you want to fly something that's not difficult to fly, it's going to be stable and predictable in flight. I had absolutely no issues with um, directing it with this method. It's very different, but uh, nothing that took me very long to figure out. So. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.